Hi beautiful! Today I'm going to show you exactly how to do the iconic butterfly haircut all by yourself at home with just a few tools and a few steps. You've seen my butterfly haircut tutorials before. It is the most simple, the most beautiful haircut in the world and it's so easy to do. Plus I'm going to share with you my expert tips and tricks on how to achieve this haircut better than ever before. And I'm going to show you on my model Sophia. Let's do it. Hello, beautiful. Okay, Sophia, this, I, how did it even get here? You have zero layers in your hair. <laughs> Why did I let you wear your hair like this? I don't know why you let me do this to myself. What happened? I just sometimes cut it myself. I can tell with the with the Okay, the what? Line, the line, <laughs> this is lying down the back of your head. She has like curly wavy hair and zero movement within her form of the haircut, which really doesn't work together very well. All the weight is sitting down here and we want to sit more <laughs> <laughs> and we want it to sit around the head. We want the head rounded. You know, that's a very feminine kind of look. We want to compliment her face shape. And this is not doing that. We're going to bring those layers up with this very simple haircut and add some nice face framing layers slash curtain bangs. It's still going to be like lived in and cool, but have a lot more layers and a lot more movements so that your natural hair dries even better. But also, so when you have a blowout, It'll look even better with all of those kind of like wavy movement going up throughout your hair It won't fall down if you have more layers of movement And it's gonna be really really easy to just make this look a whole lot better and it's literally gonna take 10 minutes So let's do it. Let's wash your hair and come on back and do the butterfly cut All right The hair has been wet and now that is actually your first step to wash your hair and make sure it is very wet Like dripping wet not just spray bottle quick wet or half half dried, wet, disgustingly wet. You're gonna want a comb, you're gonna want a detangling brush, and of course, some scissors. Professional ones would be preferred. You can buy them in many different places, including Sally Beauty for very cheap. And while you're there, you can pick up x -Mondo Color and x -Mondo Hair Care. The next step, we are going to find the apex. It is the highest point of the head. You can lay a comb on the top to find where it is. So hers is right here. And now we are just going to comb that hair forward right in front of your face. Sophia has really no idea what kind of haircut she's getting, but it's fine. Um, I have no idea what's going on. Gorgeous. Next, I am just going to find the back of the ear, but right here, go from the apex to behind the ear with my comb. This doesn't need to be perfect. Just get it close to what I'm doing and it's gonna be amazing. You are doing a great job. I can feel it through the screen. Now we have that. I'm gonna take the hair out of this brush so it doesn't look like I'm a slob. <laughs> is it all my hair? Um, yes, it is all your hair. Your hair is falling out. <laughs> <laughs> a concerning amount. <laughs> we'll fix that later. We'll talk about that one later. That's a whole nother video about hair loss. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, this is definitely an expert tip with the butterfly cut. Instead of using a comb to Put all this hair up. Definitely use a detangling brush. It'll just make your life so much easier. I see so many people struggle to get their wet hair into a ponytail. That is one of the biggest things I see people struggle with when doing this haircut. If you don't look insane, it, you didn't do it right. All right, I'm just gonna put a good old ponytail in. I have an elastic. You need these too. I forgot to tell you, you need an elastic, so. Sorry about that. I'm gonna comb the hair forward to the center of the eyebrows. You don't want this ponytail too high on the forehead or else your layers will be way too short and you'll end up with baby bangs. Ooh, Ooh. look at that, that's chic. Okay, next we're gonna take this back section and we are going to elevate, making sure that all of the lumps and bumps are all gone. You even wanna section your hair and make sure the hair is nicely brushed inside and out. This is going to to ensure that your cut is precise and clean. We really want to make sure that hair is really well brushed. Another tip is to use a conditioning mist like Ex Mondo Hydrify Mist to ensure that you can get this ponytail really high very easily and the brush just slips on the hair. Again, I see you guys struggle the most here with trying to get your hair up really high. Having a conditioning mist in the hair while you do this is very, very helpful. We want this Ariana Grande yeah. back in the day. <laughs> high. And we're gonna really secure this. Beautiful. I'm gonna brush 
brush this ponytail out, and then guys, we're nearly ready to cut the hair. With the butterfly cut, it's super important that we drag the hair in the direction we put the ponytail in. So the ponytail is here and the hair is all going like this. So we want to continue with that line. We also want to use a fine tooth comb to ensure the hair is extremely detangled and perfectly laying in place before we then go and cut it. A good thing to do is to use your two fingers like this, comb in front of your fingers, pull the hair to where you want it, and then stop and then cut. So that is going to ensure your tension is equal on the hair. That will result in a more even haircut and a more precise haircut. You can always do this step first. You can cut off a little bit of hair first, like cut that, let it down, look at it, and then cut more after. We're going to cut probably three inches off. We'll go right here. <laughs> No more dead ends. That's it. Thank God. That probably honestly is not enough at all, but we're gonna see what that did to her hair and go from there. Ooh. I think that was the perfect amount. Wow. You guys see how now the hair cascades down instead of just being one length? That is exactly what we want, and I love it actually, and I'm not going to change a thing about it. All right, we are on to the back section. We're going to elevate in the same direction that the ponytail is going in, so like that. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna cut off about the same amount of hair that we did on the front, right there. Oh my God. And we are going to let that down. Beautiful. Look at that guys, with just a couple of cuts, we have all of this layering in here. Look at the difference of length from the top of her head to the bottom of her head. But we're not done yet. Okay, let's grab our comb again, resection the hair out into a middle part. Awesome, don't skip that step. I'm going to part the hair in the back, in the center as well. Comb the hair all forward, and you're just going to look at if there's any disconnection going on. With hers, it looks very good. However, if there was disconnection, Connection, we would simply just trim the hair and make sure it all connects and do the same on the opposite side. We're gonna cut more guys because we let it down and we saw that our layers were still pretty long and I wanted just a little bit shorter. But this is the great part about this cut is that it's so easy to just pull the hair back up and cut a little bit more. Just another inch and a half. Perfect. And then we're gonna do just a little bit more off the front. Mm. And just like that, we're all done. So we are loving what's going on. This is looking so scrumptious and gorgeous. Look at this. You're already with this movement in here. Oh, so we are re-wetting the hair because that is important to keep the hair wet. That way we do not have any wave pattern present. You guys often want to add a curtain bang to your butterfly cut. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you today. Let's do our usual curtain bang sectioning. We're going to go about two inches back. Usually about one inch is two fingers. So you can measure like that. And to the end of the eyebrow, doesn't have to be perfect. Just put the other hair behind the ear. That's our section on this side. And we'll do the same on the opposite side. We have that nice and sectioned out. Oh my God, my ears are showing. Ew. Beautiful ears. <laughs> now to cut the bangs, we're gonna comb the hair to the opposite side of the head. All of this hair needs to be perfectly combed out in order to get a really nice cut. We are directing it all the way across and she wants it around her lip. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit longer just in case we have any errors. So we're also going to slant the fingers with the same slant as the jawline. So that's her jaw. <laughs> My fingers are the same way. And then we are going to cut. The over direction and the slant of the fingers at the same time really over directs the hair far out of the place where it lives, which gives you amazing <laughs> face framing bangs. And it's definitely still long. I think we can afford to take a little more length off. Great. Wow. We went from this to this. In a second, we're going to connect this hair to this hair. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side now. And I'm gonna use a piece of the hair from the opposite side to measure where we cut. 
The last step is gonna be connecting this length to the bangs. So we're gonna take our scissors, we're gonna open them really wide, put them on the hair, and we're gonna slowly close the back of the shears while sliding down the hair. Beautiful. We can always refine the haircut after we blow dry. Usually it's easier to do it that way because you want to see where the hair lives to make better decisions. But we're going to get the base of the haircut in first. You can always take off more later. Wow. Should we blow dry? Yes. Okay, obviously we're going in with our Super Gloss Ultra Frizz Defense Spray. It'll make our hair so slippery, silky, smooth, so shiny, and humidity resistant for longer than ever before. It's going to look incredible incredibly soft and shiny, and it's going to speed up her blow dry time by a lot. So we're gonna get this on every single section, really putting a lot of product right at the root, right to the end, and all around the face. This is also a product that lasts in the hair through multiple washes with one treatment. We got that all in the hair. We're just gonna brush this through. And now let's get blow drying. So we just finished her blowout. It's looking obviously gorgeous. We're obsessed. Now we're just gonna do the finishing touches. So she has, of course, very thick hair. And as you can see, her bangs sit nicely right now, but it's because I blew dry the shit out of them. And if I didn't, they wouldn't have sat as nice. So I'm gonna thin out the ends with my thinning shears just to make it sit a bit better. We're going to do the same thing we did before, which is pull to the opposite side. But I'm also gonna elevate the hair at the same time. I'm gonna use my thinning shears, take out a bit of hair. This elevation is really important so that we do not get any like bite marks in the hair and here you can see the difference so this is with the thinning it sits much nicer and really looks a lot smoother on the ends and this side is a bit poofier and as you can see it does not sit as beautiful so the same thing on the opposite side See that? That's really hot. Okay, so do you see how this roundness is coming through? Gorgeous. We do have to curl it though. All right, and to finish off the look, just make things sparkly and even more gorgeous, we are going to curl the hair and just hit the hairline with a flat iron. Also to lock in our super gloss spray, you must use a hot tool to finish the style. That is what makes the product last extra long. I just accidentally gave myself butterflies. <gasps> Wait, this Wait is crazy. butterfly. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, that was crazy. And that is the look. This is the final haircut, the butterfly haircut, the one, the only, with some beautiful curtain bangs. Obsessed. You look iconic, even more than usual. This just brings out your color. The shape is just beautiful for your it's face. Insane. You look obsessed. Amazing. You can wear it anyway. Like, oh, if she parts on the side, we get a whole nother look. Oh my god. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> you look Oh my gorgeous, goodness, baby. wait, wait, I think I'm a side part girl. Wait, I think wait, you I are think too. <laughs> wait a sec, wait, wait, let bring me it back. It, let me make it step, let me make it step. And like a bunch of like volume right here. Wait. <laughs> wait, I think I'm a side part girl. It's a very versatile haircut. Wait, what about the other the side? The layering looks beautiful. <laughs> We're losing our minds. Wait, <laughs> wait. 
Hey, look how good it looks though. <laughs> Ew. You let me walk around like that before? <laughs> Wait, I like this. So she obviously has a lot more roundness to the haircut. You can see these layers are quite short compared to what they were before. This is the first layer. This is the last. We have quite a bit of a difference there. And the layering is still kind of like subtle and beautiful though. Like it's not too in your face. It's not like a mullety type of cut. It's very <gasps> blended and beautiful and sultry and sexy and very feminine. And I just think it complements Sophia's style very well. I'm never changing this. Never. And that's all you guys. If you want to check out the products used in today's video, they're of course linked below. And I hope you do an incredible butterfly haircut on yourself with these tips and tricks. Make sure to record a video of you trying it out. I would love to put you in a reaction video someday. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.